my name is Denise from Total Skin and I'm going to be talking to you today a little bit about the skin and the acid mantle. Now skin is a very thin protective layer and it produces what we call sebum which are free fatty acids that are excreted from the skin sebaceous glands which mixes with lactic acid and amino acids from sweat to create the skin's pH. Now for the skin to be at its best, the acid mantle should be slightly acidic at a balance of about 5.5 pH. The scale is on a 1 to 14, with 1 being the most acidic and 14 being the most alkaline and 7 as being neutral. An out of whack pH balance can be blamed for everything from zits to wrinkles. The skin's barrier, the, lactic, the acid mantle, is responsible for keeping lipids and moisture while blocking the germs, pollutant and toxins and bacteria. If your pH balance is too high, you will have dryness, wrinkling, redness, flaking, and it is likely that your acid mantle is being dismantled with its protective lipids being removed and the skin is prone to the free, free radicals attacking and this can cause the premature aging. If your skin pH balance is too low and more acidic, the result is often angry breakouts, red and inflamed skin. Skin can also be sensitive to touch and can react very easily to products. Now, how to maintain the acid mantle? Diet. Diet plays a very important part in determining our internal and external pH levels. But sometimes food that are considered acidic before digestion, like lemons, become alkaline forming in the body. Most animal products which are alkaline prior to digestion are considered acid forming in the body. A little confusing, I know. We need our diets to be less acidic with more alkaline, otherwise internally we become more acidic. This means that the ideal diet should contain an abundance of alkaline in foods such as leafy green vegetables, citrus fruits, tomatoes, carrots and soya beans. Skin care. Now skin care is very important to the acid mantle. Now I want you to take a closer look at your products and how you are using them. Cleansers should not make your skin feel dry and taut after you've used them. And if they do, then you are actually taking away too much of the natural sebum on our skin. And your skin will be become more alkaline and can be more susceptible to acne because of the certain level of acidity needed to inhibit the bacteria growth on the skin. Skin treated with products that are overly acidic can also cause problems if not used correctly. Ingredients such as alpha hydroxy acids, retinoid acids, beta hydroxy acids and amino fruit acids. Now why these products can do good on our skin, you need to know your skin type and the condition. Overuse of these products is not good and can temporarily disrupt the lipid barrier of the skin. The topical antioxidants, vitamins A, C and E and green tea are important in maintaining the acid mantle in two ways. Firstly, they fortify the cells so they can function optimally. And second, C in the form of the l acid by nature and has a low pH. So while not considered a pH balancing antioxidant, vitamin C formations can be used safely and beneficially on the skin as long as they are not used at the same time as any other acidic products. The daily use of sunscreens defends the acid mantle by shielding the skin from damage and increasing the skin's ability to protect itself. So as you can see, it is really important to know your skin before purchasing any product. You need to know if you're acidic, alkaline, or whether you're in a balance of 5.5. The best thing to do is to come into Total Skin and we do a comprehensive skin diagnosis, which is free, on your skin, and we may even do a pH test on you as well, just to see what you are internally. So if you would like to take advantage of this, just give us a call on 95 35 45 30. Thank you.